67 today. to World Crisis Radio, our usual guest coming up here in just a minute, uh, Phil Berg. Let's just give a, a quick rundown on some uh, interesting developments on the birth certificate front. That is, is Obama really the uh, President of the United States or is he disqualified? We had Limbaugh in one of his few moments of lucidity uh, in the midst of uh, various uh, babblings about uh, free market economics and anti-government right-wing anarchist ranting. A useful moment by Limbaugh. The joke was, what does Obama have in common with God? Answer, God doesn't have a birth certificate either. We've also got the, um, the neocons over at World Net Daily uh, coming back with uh, more focus on the, uh, the birth certificate. So, um, some ferment around this, and maybe a sign that uh, that Obama's uh, spell and the hysteria is uh, is breaking up after uh, what five months in uh, in office. So let me welcome Phil Berg in Philadelphia, who's going to report to us now on important uh, developments in uh, the litigation and legal action on the birth certificate front. Welcome, Phil. Welcome, Webster. Uh, my pleasure speaking to you. I have breaking news for everyone here that uh, the sealed case has now been unsealed. Unfortunately, it's been unsealed because <clears throat> the judge dismissed the case. But the significance of this case, and I just put out a press release to this effect, is that U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder uh, refuses to prosecute President Obama under the False Claims Act whereby Obama was accused of defrauding the U.S. Treasury by illegally being a U.S. Senator from Illinois, as we claim Obama is an illegal alien and not a U.S. citizen. I had brought action against Obama, and after months of delay, Holder's staff refused to investigate. I raised the issue of conflict of interest because the Attorney General and U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, all their boss is Barack Obama, and I also asked why the discovery which they supposedly received in making their determination not to proceed, <clears throat> excuse me, was not turned over. So the case was dismissed just as past Tuesday by Judge Roberts, who stated that he had no discretion because the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, which is over him, has decided that uh, the judges here should have no input. Now, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, excuse me, in California, has decided that since the statute provides for a hearing, that the court should have input. So we're going to be appealing this case, but I think it's an out-and-out disgrace. I hope everyone goes to our website, takes this press release and spreads it. Hopefully someone in the national media will pick it up, even though I doubt it. I think it was good that Rush Limbo spoke about it. I'd love to get on his show if there's anyone out there that can <clears throat> hook me up with them. But... Uh, I think uh, I've worded this properly. I think it's a total disgrace. If he is an illegal alien, as I stated, the sealed case, usually a sealed case is, uh, for the False Claims Act is dealt with Medicaid or Medicare fraud. But uh, that's why I couldn't discuss it since I filed the action last November, November 7, 2008. But now uh, the case is unsealed. Uh, the, uh, everyone can go to our website. They can get a copy of the court term and number on the case and look it up and get read all the details of what we presented to the court and what we presented actually to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Attorney General, and I think it's a disgrace that they're not moving forward on this. And my commitment, again, is to stay committed to find out the truth about Obama. I definitely think he's an illegal alien. I definitely think he uh, uh, stole money because if he was an illegal alien, he could not have drawn salary for a U.S. Senator and he should not be president, and you have my commitment to keep pursuing this action. I just need people's help. I need people to uh, step forward. I need people to spread it to everyone else on their uh, address book. I needed to um, get more and more people involved, and then also if anyone can make a contribution. We're now in our 11th month pursuing this. 
So, Phil, let me just sum up the details. Here we were in the uh, Federal District Court in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., that building at the foot of Capitol Hill where so many things have happened over the years. So this is Judge Roberts, Federal District Judge, saying that he will not uh, go further into this question of the sealed case that you've been telling us about for, for several months now. Is Obama an illegal alien? Did he falsely take his... Uh, payments, right? Uh, the salary he earned as a U.S. senator, and for that you have to be a U.S. citizen. So does that apply retroactively? And you tell me that the uh, there was a representative there of the Attorney General Eric Holder, and they declined to investigate. They're just not interested in enforcing the laws. They're not going to take care that these laws be enforced or this constitutional provision. So it's Eric Holder once again, and, and people remember him. This is uh, Mark Rich's advocate inside the Clinton administration in the last days, right, when he made sure that uh, a pardon went to Mark Rich, the uh, the uh, the wealthy, um, well, malefactor, who was a, an international fugitive, at least from the U.S. point of view at the time. So that's Eric Holder, right? Uh, absolutely, and I think it's a total disgrace. Um, Judge Roberts basically said his hands are tied. I'm going to appeal it to the D.C. Uh, Circuit uh, Court of Appeals, and hopefully convince them that they, uh, the statute, I mean, think about it for a minute. The statute provides that you either have a closed meeting with the representatives from the U.S. Attorney's Office and the uh, Justice Department or a hearing. Well, obviously, I didn't want a closed hearing with them, a closed meeting with them, because it wouldn't do anything. So I have it on the record. <clears throat> We're going to get the transcript of it. We'll have that posted up on our website. But Judge uh, Roberts states that he has no input. He cannot overrule, do anything. But think about it. The statute provides that there can be a court hearing. So if there can be a court hearing, why wouldn't the court have input on it? It just doesn't make sense. And hopefully the D.C. Court of Appeals, people can start writing to them that they should uh, hear this case. <clears throat> they should change their mind and follow the Ninth Circuit and several other circuits around this country. And uh, it, it, it's, it's an out-and-out disgrace what's going on here. But there are more and more people <clears throat> talking, even though they're joking about it, it's more and more people are talking about this birth certificate. Now, World Net Daily is putting up a sign campaign saying, where's your birth certificate? <clears throat> Obamacrimes.com, which is my website, O-B-A-M-A-C-R-I-M-E-S.com. We're going further if we can raise the money, and it costs a lot, because we, I don't think, and I called World Net Daily and spoke to them, I don't think where's your birth certificate catches on for people that aren't committed or don't know about this topic. I think you need a definite thing, and our signs will say Obama. Where's your birth certificate? You can't go where's your birth certificate and hope people are going to start inquiring and think what's going on. So that's our theory. We're going to pursue Obama. Where's your birth certificate? Absolutely. We're going to need thousands, we're going to need thousands and thousands of dollars, and hopefully we can raise it because this issue has to come to a head. If we can raise the public awareness to 50 or 75 million, then I really believe that we can pressure and, and make them do something. One, at the uh, White House briefing uh, about a week and a half ago, um, the press secretary Gibbs was asked a question, and he, like, scoffed it off. But uh, the issue is there. We have to get it out more and more. And I think as Obama is dropping in the polls, or will be dropping in the polls, because his, his plans and his ideas are not catching on, and I think people are starting to get disillusioned, then when the public finds out that he's not qualified to be in office, I think we have a real shot of bringing this thing to a head. I was at this conference in California over the weekend, and this was attended by George Nouri, who is the host of the uh, Coast to Coast AM broadcast, right? And then he's sort of the, uh, the, the nighttime equivalent of one of the big uh, talk shows, right? And he's got a network of uh, 550 stations. His line was, whoever's running against Obama the next time around should bring a copy of their own vault copy birth certificate to the debates and say, here's my birth certificate. I wonder if candidate Obama would like to, uh, to honor us with his birth certificate. So this is specific. We're not interested in birth certificates in general. We want Obamas, right? And this is, uh, an uncertain trumpet. Hang on, Phil. We'll be back in one second. <laughs> 